Welcome. This lecture is only for Windows operating system. If you are not on Windows, please skip this video. Alright, in this section, you're gonna prepare your development environment to start programming with Go. I know, these are very boring stuff, but bear with me here. This will be required only once, okay? Alright, let's take a look at what you're gonna do quickly. Okay, in the first step, I'll show you how to install the code editor. In this course, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I have tried a lot of editors so far and I've concluded that VS Code is the best among them for Go. Why? Because it's free, fast, easy and extensible and it has a very decent good support for Go. However, if you love your editor, you can skip this step as well. Then again, I strongly recommend you to use Visual Studio Code, but it's your call, of course. And after installing the code editor, you will need to install Git. If you already have installed Git, you can skip this second step as well. By the way, if you don't know what Git is, let me quickly explain it to you. Simply put, it's a version control system. It keeps track of every changes that you make to your files. You're gonna install Git because Go has a central support for it and by using Git, you can install external packages easily. You can also check out the links in the resources to learn more about it. Alright, after installing Git, in the third step, I'll show you how to install Go itself. So after you install everything that you need, we start configuring them. In this step, I'll show you how to configure Visual Studio Code for Go. And lastly, I'll show you how to get and install the source code for the course. Alright, let's get started. Alright, now open up your browser. And to the address bar, just type code.visualstudio.com. Then click on this green button here. And after that, the download will automatically start. If it didn't start, just click on this link here to manually start it. Alright? Now just open it up by clicking here. Here is the installation screen for VS Code. Let me hide my browser so you can easily see what's going on. It's a usual installation program. You're just gonna click on the next buttons. Ok, now just click on this next button here, accept the terms and click on the next button again. Just install it to this default path, so click on the next button, next again. Here select all the checkboxes, so it will be easier for you later that you can open it through the command line and so on. And finally click on the install button here. Alright, it starts installing it. After it finishes, don't open it yet, ok? You're gonna do that after we install everything. So uncheck the box here and click finish. Ok, now it's time to install git. Alright, open up your browser again. Now I'm gonna type git for windows.org and hit the enter key. This is a specific installation only for windows. Alright, here just click on this blue download button right here. Ok, after it finishes installing git, just open it again by clicking here. Let me hide my browser window again. Alright, here is the installer for git. Just click on next here to continue. Just click next again. Alright, here select all these check boxes except the last two. By doing so, it will integrate git on your operating system and it will add shortcuts to your desktop, etc. Here, click on the next again. And here, if you want to use Visual Studio Code as your editor, then select Visual Studio Code. As I said, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code in this course, so I recommend you to do so, right? Ok, let's click next. Here it asks you whether it should integrate Git to your command prompt. It's better to integrate it, so you can use it in the command prompt. So now select use git from the windows command prompt and click next again. Just click on next again here. Ok, now it asks you whether you wanna use windows line endings or the unix line endings when making, checkout and committing. Here just select the second option. It's because this option will help you to work with almost every other codebase. And then just keep clicking on the next buttons until the installation starts. Alright, done. Let me uncheck this view release notes option and just click on the finish button here. Alright, it's ready. Next, you need to install Go now. Let me open my browser again. Now just go to golang.org slash dl. Here click on the link inside this Microsoft Windows box. 
All right, it starts downloading. Good. Now let's click on this downloaded file to open the installer. Okay, let me hide my browser again. Here, just keep hitting the next buttons until it starts the installation like this. It asks my permission, so I'm gonna click on the yes button. And finally, just click on the finish button here. All right, that's all. You installed everything. Okay, now I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code by clicking on this icon here. Let me close these tabs first. They are not important for now. Okay. In this course, I'm gonna use bash as a command prompt. It's because bash is used in Linux and OS 10 operating systems and it's widely used almost everywhere. Here I'm gonna show you how to integrate the bash with Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay. If you don't want to integrate it, you can skip this step. However, I recommend you to use git bash. You can always change it later. Okay, when you have installed git, you have also installed a minimal version of bash actually. Here just go to the view menu and select the command palette. Then type shell here. Then select this terminal select default shell option. Here it asks you what shell do you want to use inside the Visual Studio Code as an integrated terminal. Here I'm going to select git bash. As I said, you can always open this option again and you can change your shell afterwards, okay? Alright, done. That's all. Congrats, now you have installed all the necessary tools. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to configure your coding editor for Go. For now, let's take a quick break here. Thank you for watching so far. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.